Hi everyone, this is Linda, and we're going to take a design from the MySonet software and actually create a little buttonhole. Um, we're going to use it differently than what it was initially designed for. So we're going to get the design from the MySonet library, bring it into the MySonet or Premiere Plus 2 software, use that towel hanger design and create a buttonhole. We're modifying a MySonet design in the MySonet software. You can do this in Premiere Plus 2 software, but it was filmed using the MySonet. Um, remove parts of a design. We're going to duplicate a design. We're going to resize a design. We're going to change thread colors. And that is taking a MySonet library design and doing all of this. So this can be done using MySonet Gold or Platinum or Premiere Plus 2 extra or ultra. Now I'm going to let you stitch out the design on however you way you want to do it. Um, I did it on a flap and you'll see that in the video here. So what I'm going to do is walk you through taking a MySonet library design into your MySonet software and you need at least gold um, or platinum in order to do this. So what it is is a MySonet library design that is made to be a towel hanger and actually what it is is you normally would be sewing this out and then hanging your um towel like this but we're going to use it for something totally different and so what it is is i'm not going to show you how to make the bag itself this is up to you and how you did this but i just took a pair of old blue jeans and um created a flap it's attached on the back um, used this part of the gene to create it and then boxed my corners. So that's up to you how you want to do this, but it is kind of a neat way to do it. Um, so I'm going to edit the design. I'm going to add some letters. I'm going to copy a part of the design and actually put these two little pieces together. So let's get started. Okay, so I've gone to my computer and I've got mysonet.com and I've actually pull this up and I'm going to go to tools I'm going to go to library and it, take the time to actually browse through some of these all these other things that are on here it's more than just a library place there's all kinds of inspiration and things if you haven't already done that so I am actually logged in I'm going to I'm at the library and I'm going to search for towel design or towel hanger And I'm going to get all kinds of options that are considered towel hangers. And the one I actually want is this particular one. Now you have multiple options on here. So one of the things you can do is you can actually purchase the design outright. And if you purchase the design outright, what that allows you to do is you get to keep it forever. Um, so you can do lots of things with it. Uh, I'm not going to for this particular thing. I can also mark this as being a favorite design that I like to keep and I want to have it forever and I can actually, if I'm looking for designs, I can actually go into my favorites and actually find this particular one because it's one I'm going to use over and over again. I can also remove it from there. I'm actually going to send, I want to actually open this up. I could send it directly to my software, but I want you to see this. I'm going to pull this up. This is going to give me all of the information I need. I can send the design directly to the cloud. Again, from here, I can also save it as a favorite, and I can also send it directly to my software. And you need to have um, the my Sonet platinum or gold or software to do what we're going to do. Uh, I think you can actually do this in Premiere Plus 2, but we're going to use the MySonet software. The thing I want you to see is if there is special techniques associated to this, there's going to be some information associated down here. If you look, there's you can do categories, you can search for projects in the hoop, projects in the hoop based on techniques. And I'm actually going to go here to the towel techniques PDF file because in it is going to give me all of the different designs that are here, but I need to learn what some of these symbols stand for. And I'm going to go find the design that we're actually going to do. And it's this one. So if you notice, it kind of gives you some instructions. One of the things, this is actually a symbol for water soluble. This is a symbol for applique. And this is for telling you to actually, um, 
that you're going to cut some information out. So if you go back to the very, very beginning, heavy water soluble stabilizer, that's the one symbol. This is to say you're going to have an applique. This is to tell you that you're going to actually cut it out. So that's what each of those symbols stand for. So we're going to go back down. When you're sewing this out, you're actually going to have some water soluble stabilizer and you're going to sew the first step out and then you're going to lay some fabric down and then you're going to sew it again and then you're going to trim it and then you're going to sew again and so you're going to kind of go through a couple of different processes and then there's an actual placement line that will actually tell you where to lay your fabric this is the flap that's on the actual um, little bag I made so this is where you would lay your flap um, and remember, we're going to do this just the opposite. We're going to flip this around. But you want to lay it, your fabric down, then do the rest of the stitching. So we're going to go through this here. Hang on a second. I'm going to go back out of here. And I actually want to send this to my software. So I'm going to send it to my software. I actually happen to have um, Premiere Plus 2 and my Sonet on this particular desktop, but I'm going to make sure I'm going to my, my Sonet and I'm going to close that. And if I come down here and look, I should have it showing right there. So like I said, this is normally the way it would be sewed, but we're going to make this into a pumpkin and I want to sew it just the opposite. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it and I'm going to flip it this way. Looks a little bit more like a pumpkin here. Okay, so once I flip this, I need to start looking at getting rid of some of this area here. So I'm going to go to the Modify tab That's by just by selecting there, selecting there. And I need to get rid of some colors. And I'm going to get rid of all of the colors. Now, this is just hiding them from my work process. It is not actually deleting them from the, soft, from the design itself. But I need to click in here and go pretty close in here because I want to get rid of all of this a crossover and a, up into this. If I got rid of the yellow, it's going to get rid of everything and I see how it just kind of makes it blank. I need to keep those two there. So I'm going to click on point select and I'm going to use and I'm going to just kind of come across here. If I use my control key, I get a very straight I will get a straight line and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do a straight line here. I'm going to come over here. Make sure you don't grab any of these stitches because those will be gone too. And I want to come across here. I'm going to come up here using my control key and come in here. Now, if I wanted to change something, if I wanted to move something around, I could, I want to move this one. I'm going to hold my control key and I'm going to move this just a little bit and I need to be very careful. Again, whatever is in this area is what's going to be gone. So again, I'm going to move this down just a little bit. But I can get this a little bit better later on. I can also, if I don't have my, I can actually move these around. But if I need to make them a little bit more square, I hold the control key and I can move it. And that will give it a little bit square. Now I'm going to right mouse click, right mouse. And it looks like it's going to take some other parts away, but it's not. It's only taking the area away, the stitches away that I actually had enclosed in that circle. So I'm going to hit delete. And if you notice, I still have all of my other colors are still there, but what's gone are those other ones. And I actually see some stuff in here I need to get rid of a little bit more. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer here. I can do, again, the point select, or I can do select stitches. I'm going to get rid of some more, so I'm just going to go and click. Hold my control, come over here. And i got to be careful not to grab any of this outside area. So I'm going to right mouse, again, delete. And I can actually see some here that I really want to get rid of. So I'm going to do select stitches. I'm going to click on that, and I can either do that or just drag them in. I'm going to click on delete. I'm going to get rid of this one, delete. I'm going to get rid of this stitch, delete. If I click close, it's see how it's grabbing these? Even though I'm clicking up in this area, that means it would it goes to the closest spot. 
of what I want to get rid of. So you want to be very careful of where you click and what you're deleting. So now I'm going to zoom out. So now I have my design and I actually want to do some more things to this. I want to change some colors. So I'm actually going to come in here and I want to change this into a, like a green. And this one I'm going to change into an orange. And this one I'm going to change into another orange. And this one I'm going to change into another green. It's a very dark green. But I get to change things because now what I want to do is I want to cut up, I want to copy just this pumpkin area. So again, I'm going to zoom in to this particular area. I'm going to get rid of all of the things that I can't, so I can't accidentally grab them. I need that. See how it lit up? This one I don't need. This is down here, so I don't need that one. But I need six, seven, and eight. And I need to make do again. I'm going to do that point select, and I'm just going to grab this area. So I'm going to do point select, and I'm going to click around here, making sure I'm getting 100% of what I want. I'm going to use my control key because I get a little bit more of a straight line when I do that. Click, click out there, making sure that I have 100% of the item that I want to make a copy of. Right mouse, click copy. And it's going to look like it's not there, but it is. Believe me, just trust me, it's there. So I'm going to go over to the Home tab, and I'm going to do a Zoom to Fit. And now I'm going to make sure nothing is selected by clicking away from the design, and I'm going to hit Paste. Now it pasted my new design right on top of that, and I actually want to just kind of move that over here. But I need to re make it a different size altogether. So what I'm going to do is I either can select resize, or I can use my control, semicolon, and I get blue boxes, and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going, I can do it a couple of different ways. I can do a right mouse, and I can do properties, and change the size. Or I can use my control key and just grab that and just kind of make it a little bit smaller. It's up to you. But because these boxes are now blue, it's going to readjust the number of stitches. And I want one there. And I just kind of can place it where I kind of want it. And then I'm going to do a, I can do duplicate. And I'm going to move that one over here. I could also do control D and I would have that. Now the other thing I want to add is happy fall and we're going to talk about all these other little lines that are in here so I'm going to go to the letter tab I'm going to make sure I choose and this is up to you whatever font you want I'm going to use fable brush 10 to 20 and I'm going to do a size of 15 happy fall oops space and I want to do a circle clockwise and make sure nothing is selected otherwise it's just going to put it around here and I'm going to do apply. And I'm going to kind of move it into place wherever I want it. I'm going to leave it right there. I think it's going to be fine for what we want to do. If I wanted to make it a little bit smaller, I could do that. All right. When I get ready to stitch this out, what's going to happen is it's going to color sort because I have that set up and configure. And sometimes I want that, sometimes I don't. What I do need to do because colors one through four are exactly the same color and if I do a color sort what's going to happen is these are going to just continually sew out and it's not going to stop when I need it to because let's go and I'm going to go over to the modify tab so you can see this when I uncheck all of this the first thing that's going to stitch out is it's going to stitch this onto water soluble stabilizer. That's all I have on my in my machine right now. I have nothing else. I just have the water soluble stabilizer and it's going to stitch this. And I don't I need it to stop at the end of that. So that I'm going to uncheck this one. And I'm going to just check this. So again, now I'm going to lay fabric down 
and then it's going to sew this and it's actually going to attach it. I'm going when it stops at this point, I'm going to trim all my excess fabric. Now I have just a little piece of fabric in order for it to have the stitches something to hang on to. I used a piece of blue jean. You could use a piece of felt. You could use about anything you wanted, but you're going to trim it all just like you do with regular applique. So I'm going to uncheck this one and I'm going to check this one. So now what's going to happen is it's going to put these little zigzag stitches around the outside edge of that fabric that I've just trimmed and then it's going to put a placement line of where I need to lay my flap fabric. So I will be laying that piece of flap fabric right along this edge so that when I get ready to do the next stitch, it's actually going to put another basting stitch down to hold it all in place. So again, I'm going to uncheck this. And I'm going to do this. So it's going to put all these stitches, satin stitches, and it's going to put some extra... Um, stitches to make it pretty heavy. So this is going to be pretty heavy stitching. So the other thing it's going to do is it's going to actually sew and hold your flat fabric in place so it doesn't move on you. And then the rest of this design will stitch. So I'm going to uncheck this. And it's going to stitch this, going to stitch this, this, and this. Now again, I only have the one piece selected. So I'm going to go back home so you can see this. So I only had this selected in the modify module. So what I'm going to do from here, though, is I need to actually change these colors to make sure that everything stops when it needs to. I could do this a couple of different ways, but I'm going to do it. This is the quick and easy. I'm going to leave the first color be the same. I'm going to double click this and I'm just going to start picking on and I'm going to pick on some grays because I know that's not in the um, design itself. So we're going to pick on a gray and I'm going to do OK. I'm going to just click this next one. Again, pick the gray, but I need to pick the next one down. I don't want to make, I want to make sure it's not 2537, but it's another color, 2741. Then the next one, pick on the gray, and I can pick on 2733. So now what's going to happen is it's going to sew this color, which remember what that was? That was the placement that's going to only sew on just your water soluble stabilizer. So if we want to go through that again, you can do that. We're going to uncheck everything. So now again, only on water soluble stabilizer, do this one. It's going to tack down my um, fabric in place because when I did this, I'm going to lay my fabric on top of what I'm going to use in this little hook then I'm going to tack down the fabric. It's going to stop. I'm going to trim away the excess fabric. This is going to do a little zigzag stitch, a placement line for me to put my flap down. A stitch that's going to go around and hold my flap in place and then it's going to do all of these other stitches. But if I didn't change these colors, it wouldn't stop between each of those spots. And so I did that just to make it easier for myself because I added these other things. And I do want it to color sort because I want those things to get color sorted and put in so that this sews in the other. Now, the other thing I want to show you in the MySonet software, this is actually telling me that this design came from the library. So if I right mouse, um, it, it's just that little flower. If I go to this one, this is telling me that I have edited it and it's still from the library. Again, this is going to be the same thing. And then this is telling me it's a font. So I can actually do some more editing of these if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm ready to sew this out. So if you want to watch it play, you can actually watch it sew out. And I'm just going to do this fairly quickly. So it's going to, on the water soluble, it's going to tack down, go through all the process here. And then because I let color sort continue, it actually did the things I needed to do for the other parts. Okay, so I hope you sew this out and actually try this and see how it works. Thanks.